One of the things we talk about in marketing a lot is the brand promise. And we use it so many times in so many different contexts that very frequently we have simply no idea what it's actually supposed to represent. We think it's quality, we think it's uh, a range of products, we think it's a particular culture, we think it's a particular way of behaving and so on and so on, and it, it isn't any of those things. So let's break it down into its simplest constituents so we can basically understand it. A brand promise is about an experience. Whether that brand is a large multinational corporation or a single person, and basically a person is essentially, to all intents and purposes, a brand. Now, that experience is predicated upon two things. The first one is trust, and the second one is values, and they're related. And I'll show you how. Now, trust is an assessment we make of the future possibilities of engagement with a company or a person we have no direct experience of or we have limited experience of. So trust is a mechanism that allows us essentially to reduce the possible risks of that association and to make certain value, value judgment calls. But the way we make those value judgment calls, the way we ascertain trust, the way we decide how to apportion trust is based upon our perception of the projected values of that person or that company. So essentially, to recap, experience is based upon trust and values. Values deliver trust. The two together, values and trust, deliver the experience. So great brands, whether they happen to be people or they happen to be companies, are the ones which essentially deliver upon the premise of the promise that they actually make, which is the experience. So anybody who delivers 100% on the expectation of the experience of associating with them, whether you're best buddy and best friend, or they're a great brand which you love to shop from and associate with, succeeds. And it really is that simple.